hello, hello, and welcome to Five Minute Activation. Can I get five minutes of your time? Just five minutes for a little financial therapy activation. So this is Five Minute Activation. It's a quick five minute financial therapy session that'll help get you on the path to happiness, keep you on the path to happiness so that you can reach your idea of prosperity. I am Kanae Corder, best-selling author, international speaker, and psychotherapist. I am here today to talk to you about willpower. How do you stick to it? They say you use willpower. Well, the dictionary definition of willpower is controlling or exerting a certain amount of energy so that you can get to a goal or desire. It is about refraining from, using energy to refrain from a specific um, activity or habit. So I like to say this, willpower is sort of like common sense. It's just not readily available. Am I right? Give me a thumbs up, a heart or something if you agree. So willpower is just not always there when you need it. So you know that you need to eat right and exercise in order to lose weight. You know that you need to save a certain amount of money in order to get to your idea of prosperity or to your future goals. Maybe even you wanna quit something, like quit smoking. You know what you need to do in order to do it and they say that you should you're supposed to just use willpower to get there but what happens when willpower is just not there for you i have a solution how about using why power your why power and why power is fueled by or powered by want power if you know what you really truly want You've heard me say it before, you can buy happiness if you know what truly brings you happiness. So if you know what you truly want, I don't mean those fleeting pleasures, I mean what you truly want, then you can use that why in order to get to the goal. For example, let's say you need to save a certain amount of money to let's say pay for your children to go to college or one particular child your daughter and she's really smart and you really want her to go and let's say you're out to dinner with your friends and they are having a good time and you are having a good time and they say let's keep going let's buy some more drinks let's buy some more food and you know that this is going to take you over budget probably about a hundred dollars over budget for example purposes well in that moment that's when you need willpower but really, is willpower gonna be there for you? No, it will not. So what you do instead is you rely on your why power. You think about your why, your daughter going to college, and you say to your friends, well, they're gonna to say to you, let's get another drink, let's get some more food. Come on, do it, you can stay out, let's just do it. You say to them, you know, my daughter wants to go to Princeton, wherever, Berkeley, doesn't matter, Stanford, Columbia. My daughter wants to go to insert school and I want to get her there. In order to do that, I got to save a certain amount of money. So I allotted insert amount for this outing. And I'm going to stick to that because I really want to see her go to college. And I want to go, I want to see her go to the college she wants to go to. So I can't buy another drink or eat any more food. But I could stay if you guys want me to. And you can decide if that's what you want to do or you want to leave. And I guarantee you, there's going to be an enthusiast at that table. And the enthusiast is going to be like, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'll take care of you. No worries. I got you. If they really want you to stay. Because that money mentality doesn't want to, want to stop the party. They want to keep the party going. And so because of their money mentality, they're probably not on the path to saving and happiness. They're probably on the path to immediate pleasure. And so that enthusiast will buy your drink and your food. Now you you might say, especially if you're a guy, you might say, no, I don't want that. I don't want anybody buying me my drinks and my food. So if that's the case, then you decide I'm not going to eat. I'm not going to drink. I'm just going to have my Perrier and lime and that's going to be my drink and I'm going to have the breadsticks that come with dinner and that's going to be my, my next meal. But 
you decide what's next. But you've got the goal. You already know how what the why is. The why is your kid going to college. And you take that and you use it against your friends so they can't use the allure of food and drink against you. How about that? That is our five minute activation for today. So you got your want power, your why power, I'm sorry, you got your why power to release, release you from trying to find the willpower. Because willpower, willpower pushes you. That's like, I'm pushing you to not do this. While why power pulls you. It's that pull you have on your heart, on your gut to do the right thing. You're pulled rather than pushed. Again, why power activates you while willpower is fueled by motivation. And if the motivation isn't there, then the willpower won't be there. But the activation is always there when you think about your why. Am I right? When you think about the trip that you want to go on rather than getting these pair of shoes or eating this particular dinner, you think about your trip or a move you want to make or a house you want to buy. That's your why. And so when you put that picture up of that house that you imagine yourself being in, that goes comes into your brain and that keeps you on the path to happiness rather than getting off. So here is your action step for today. Take action right now by writing down the people that are most important to you, your whys, the interests or activities that are most important to you, the things that are most important to you. And when I say things, don't get all wishy-washy on me and go like, oh no, material things are not what make me happy. Sure, I know I'm part of the prosperity club, but you need some material things. You're going to love some material things and that is okay. Don't let society tell you that that's not okay. Cause Kenei told you it was okay to like watches or um, earrings or whatever it is that you like. Just don't abuse it. You can like it, you can you know, indulge in it, but just don't abuse it. Don't, don't, out, don't out love that over your why, your true why. So, and then the next step is to prioritize them. So you put the people, the interests or activities, and then you put the thing, and then prioritize them in order, which, which comes first. It might be an interest of yours, like peace is my priority. So that's always gonna come first, even before people, because in order for me to really love those people, I gotta have my peace in place. So, oh, I love that, peace in place. I'm saying that all day today. So, so that's our five minute activation for the day. I know I'm taking up your time. You're probably at lunch or whatever you're doing, um, taking a break to listen to me and I so appreciate it. From here, what you can do is go to kanaecorder.com, hang out with me there. And I'll tell you <laughs> right now, if you have any questions or you wanna know how to do this willpower thing, DM me, send me a DM right here on Instagram. And if you're watching this on Facebook, then go to Instagram, type in Kanae Quarter, and send me a DM. That's how you get there. Otherwise, I will see you next week because I'm about to have a prosperous week. I hope you are too. All right, see you soon.